Hey, good morning. I want to read to you today from Luke chapter 19. This is verses uh, 1 through 7. It says, Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector in the region, and he had become very rich. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your house today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He is going to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. <laughs> you know, there's really nothing in this story that should surprise us. Nothing really should catch us off guard. Uh, Zacchaeus, he was a cheat. He was uh, a tax collector. He took advantage of others to gain his wealth. That's how tax collectors uh, earned their living. They were despised in Jesus' day. They earned a living by charging an amount over whatever the tax required tax was, and then they would keep that amount. That's how they earned their living. So, of course, the temptation was to charge a pretty hefty price over the tax, and uh, they would get rich. So when it says that uh, Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector and he had become very rich, how do you think he got rich? Off the backs of other people. Um, secondly, Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. Everyone wanted to see Jesus. That's not a surprise. Crowds followed him everywhere he went. Even Herod wanted to see Jesus. But look, seeing isn't believing. Just because you see Jesus from the crowd or even in person doesn't necessarily mean, mean that you believe in him. Third, Jesus wanted to eat at Zacchaeus' house. That's not a surprise. This isn't unusual for Jesus. He has spent much of his ministry to this point, socializing and evangelizing the fringes of society. Of course Jesus would go to Zacchaeus' house. Fourth, the crowd complains about Jesus hanging around notorious sinners. But really, who would Jesus hang around? I mean, if he's not going to be hanging around sinners, even notorious ones, who's he going to be hanging around? Pharisees? Sadducees? Politicians? No. Though they were sinners of a different sort, Jesus chose not to spend time with those who thought they were righteous but weren't, but he chose to spend time with those who knew that they were unrighteous. You know, the thing that ought to surprise us a little bit in this story is that in the midst of all of that, Jesus still performed a miracle, the most amazing miracle. It's still the most amazing miracle today. Zacchaeus' heart was transformed. He was saved by the power of Jesus. That's the amazing thing. That's the thing that maybe ought to surprise us. Wow, God saved him. Whew, God saved her. May we never lose our amazement at God's power to transform a heart. Pray with me. Father, Thank you for transforming our hearts through the power and the blood of Jesus, our Savior, in whose name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, friends. God bless you.